and I'm so sorry, folks. We'd like to welcome everybody, Rob Reed. Hi, everybody. I'm <laughs> Rob Reed. <laughs> I just figured I'd help you, TJ. It's all right. It's one of those days. It's a Friday night, and you were rushing home from work. It's totally fine. And so then you said, like, Lisa broke you, and uh, Kim broke me. It broke you, and both of them broke me, too. So it sucks to go on third, but I would just say, you know, we know that God made male and female, and he made them different. And uh, I'll just bring us back to, like, not being so broken, maybe, you know, because I'm macho, and then we'll be okay. And then Kim will, or Crystal will close us out and knock us out again. Is that all right? Yes. All right. How are you? I am so blessed. I got to work today. I, I don't know if you heard earlier. I, I had a broken hand. First day of work in a month. It went perfectly. Great. And, and uh, I I got home. I went to. I like to. I like to introduce the sh t tonight's show's sponsor. It is Master Kim's Korean Barbecue. <laughs> That's oh nice. gosh, it was good. It's ho hopefully the mic isn't too uh, hot because I increased the and I realized oh I already sound checked. Is it all right, Red? Thumbs up. Not too loud? All right, good. Yeah. Well, my, my side is sponsored by El Gallo Giro. Or he, yeah, El Gallo Giro, I think. I forget how to pronounce it in Spanish, if somebody knows. Oh, but Giro? My wife, my wife brought tacos, and I was, the reason why I was blacked out, I was listening to Lisa, and I was listening to Kim. I was blacked out for a while, because I didn't want people watching me eat tacos. Wow. I was listening Lisa, to worship. Lisa was, was uh, shall we say, um, busy uh, when you said that. <laughs> and yeah. she's now offering what she was uh, doing. So hey, it was, that's funny. That was she was point. amazing. Yeah. They, they, they both, like Kim, Kim had me knocked out at that end for sure. And I was sitting there going, I don't care about the Wi Fi. And I'm not so sure I even need to go on. We'll just give four more songs to uh or kim could have just played that same song for another 30 yeah, minutes yeah yeah i agree All and right. and that one song that that lisa did about the the you know how can you love me or, or I'm, I'm not the I'm darkness when she started with darkness i think that was really really good if, if we're talking about the same it's, one yeah I, I mean it's so neat when the holy spirit you know it's not a record label it's not a producer it's Jesus inspiring people to Amen. share they've got. I just love it. Anyways, Rob. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. I was going to say, like, I had a good transition there. My transition was that the first song that I want to do, which is a new song, came out this year. I put it out in June. You didn't have to. We could have still bantered there, Red, but this is fine. Is uh, another great woman. I think the reason why God, the Holy Spirit, had women all today, except for me, kind of in touch with uh, all that stuff maybe a little bit is because uh, we can all reflect particularly us males on the the great women that have our mothers and our, our wives or girlfriends whatever it is but also the the woman in the bible and so in uh, I think it's Matthew 15 hopefully I didn't get it wrong I didn't get it wrong like around 21 to 28 the next song came to me this year a lot of songs God is working with me on this year based on the Syrophoenician woman, the Canaanite woman who uh, had a sick daughter and the love that she had for that motherly love that she had for her daughter was she didn't care. She was, she knew that Jesus was just talking to all the Israelites. He was telling them that the, their Messiah had come that they'd been waiting for. And she didn't care as a Canaanite woman. She, she cared about her daughter, but she also realized who Jesus was. And that Jesus had the power to heal her daughter. And they had a little banter back and forth. That was, that if we read it in, in context, it's really kind of funny. It's pretty amazing. But the way that I took it is, is uh, God gave me the song about her through this, of her, the longing that she had of realizing Jesus' greatness, uh, trying to realize it, grasping the fact that, okay, you came for the Israelites first. So that because they were waiting for the Messiah, but that she just wanted to take a little bit of the crumbs from the table, like the family dog. And so that's what this song's about. It's called Take the Crumbs. Jesus. 
Jesus, your greatness is beyond my thoughts. A small seed of faith is all I got. I feel not worthy, not of the chosen ones. So I only ask you if I could take the cross. Lord, you reply, just believe. From the ways of the world, and I'll see that your grace affords me no cost, that the greatness of your mercy is found in the cross. That was a fun song to come up with. Unmute yourself there, TJ. What's that? I thought you were muted for a sec. No. I was just talking. <laughs> I didn't want to step on you too hard yet. You can you can <laughs> step on me, yeah. Um, just quick, you you might want to crack your volume down 10%. Thank you. Just I thought little. I thought that might be it. But I thought it, it might be a little hot. A little better? Um Actually, it was your vocal that was that was crackling. All right, good. About ten percent. We're gonna do that. Anyways, too. great song. That was that was so cool. I um, I often wondered about you know, the whole idea of even the dogs eat the scraps. What, what faith you have? I. It, it's he, so... Jesus wasn't being mean. A lot of yeah. people misinterpret that because she and she was being cheeky. Again, that's that's why I brought up the Holy Spirit bringing a lot of women here tonight, so we can realize the importance of women. She was uh, not afraid. She's there with God manifest in the flesh, and He's like uh, kind of like the way that Jesus was with His mom. She says, Jesus. You got to turn this water into wine. He goes, it's not my time yet, woman. And then she just goes, she didn't even respond to that. She just goes, go and do what he says. 
And he goes, okay, it's my mom. I guess I got to do it. Right? Strong woman. And it's, and it's great. And that's what she was. But when she realized, as Jesus was showing his, it was all about modeling. That's what Jesus is doing. He's showing his apostles. He's showing them, look, there's going to be a time for you to do these kind of things. There's going to be a time where I have to talk to the Israelites because they're waiting for me. If I go to the people who aren't waiting for me, they're going to be like, who are you? You know, Jesus can go see Isaiah 53 and uh, I could, and Psalm 22. I could do all Zechariah 11 or 12, wherever it is, when the donkey comes in. They can start going, oh, check, 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 right? They're waiting so that they can be bold in their proclamation. The Messiah came and the new covenant is in, not just for the Jews, not just for the non-dogs, the non-family dogs, but for the world, Jew and Gentile. And, and it's just beautiful. I love it. And it's it, this. So the it's a Syrophoenician woman. It's kind of that first one that gets a taste of it. And it's for me, it's beautiful. And it was worthy of a song. And thank you, God, for giving me that one. Sorry for talking so much. I could go forever. The, the other Probably. two that really get me are the women at the woman at the well. Yeah. And when Mary Magdalene um, wiped Jesus' feet with the uh, spike nard, it was like. And that in the present, I mean, every all the men hid. And there were the women going, oh, the Roman guards at the tomb. I don't care. We want to take care of Jesus. We want to make sure he's he's spiced or whatever they did with the, the death stuff. They, they went there. They didn't care. What are you going to do to me? You know, brave, brave woman. And we don't realize that. We take that for granted. We uh, so often we like to, especially misogynists in our, and not to, that I want to get into any of that stuff, but you know, we like to shut up woman. I don't want you talking. It's like, you can't teach me. Well, sometimes they can. And the Syrophoenician woman certainly taught me by doing the song. So mm, yeah. What am I doing next? TJ? Um, a song. Okay. I will. How about this one? We're going to get, we're going to go from the heart of a brave lady to the heart of the the bravest man to ever live but he was brave because he had you know he was god manifest in the flesh so of course he was as courageous as could possibly be the lion of judah jesus who had this amazing heart of forgiveness and love and mercy that is impossible for me to really understand as he was on the cross that attitude that he has towards us because we put him up there just as much as the romans did and the jews that were condemning him shouting crucify him we put him up there our sin put him up there but our sin was nailed to the cross and while he could have called thousands of angel armies to his side to get him down from the cross and destroy everyone there who put him there he instead said father forgive them they know not what they do and so this song is about my thinking if i was there at the cross what I would have felt. It's called Perfect Beauty. You looked out from the cross With love beyond compare Upon the throngs of those Whose sin had put you there Manifest in flesh The Word who bled and died Thief comes to distress, but the word still brings us life and life in full. Perfect beauty, though not guilty, suffered for our sin. He was breathing faintly, but speaking plainly, that the thief he shall not win, since Jesus rose, 
rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And though you could have claimed God's armies to relieve Instead forgiveness reigned For all those who believe The empty grave Perfect beauty Though not guilty Suffered for our sin. He was breathing faintly, but speaking plainly that the thief he shall not win. Perfect Jesus, God who frees us, washed us pure from. You face death so boldly as we coldly watch your body drain. Still, Jesus, you rose from the dead. Oh. find the final chord i was in a place and then i got like <laughs> no i i was uh, thinking that you were you were doing this really cool inversion there and actually actually kind of kind of flowed watch the replay i think you'll like all right it. great if it sounded good see that's the thing and i'm going to tell kim too because kim forgot some words right and i was in a place man when she was singing that and 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 i, I was like this is great stay there i'm soaking man she's playing something and she goes i forgot the words and then there i was going i was trying to find the last chord so if it worked great but i you know i don't know yeah rob you just created a remix yeah exactly i did that's that's the remix uh produced by tj exactly right so yeah that one uh that one really touched me i released that one on good friday of this year god gave me that one early it was based on the pastor wanted some new songs we were merging our church i'm now at a different church that's a long story uh but uh we were merging churches and he had a vision of john 10 10 and that was the thief comes to kill and destroy um but the war but jesus comes to give life and to give life in full it's paraphrasing it um and that, and the song kind of emanated out of that and around and it was around the time of good friday so perfect beauty yeah so 289 on red's room we've had lisa lynch we've had kim from uh i'll loan you a dollar uh washington um i'm gonna get that that sit that city name right one of these days we're gonna have David Santa Stephen coming up and Crystal Craven's going to take us out. But right now we got Rob Reed and Rob. Sorry. What was that? I said, sorry, I'm kidding. Oh. I'm being too self-deprecating now. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. I like, I like to joke anyway. But, so. Well, we had to do a station identification. So yes, we did. That. Yes, that's, we did. That's why I did it. It's an identifier. You know, that. that's right. That's right. So, what would you like to do to us? I mean, what would you like to sing for us next? So. How about a new one? Now, this oh, one, yeah. yeah, this one is, uh, 
it was written a long time ago, but I, God's timing, a couple, a lot of songs actually that are going to be on my record. I'm trying to put out a new record by the end of the year. I've got about eight, maybe nine songs with this one. I haven't convinced myself how to play it, but this song was actually kind of poppy when I wrote it. It's called He's Victorious. I wrote it with Pastor Dana Hansen, and um, I started recording it, and as I'm listening to the recording, I'm like, I, I don't, I'm just not digging this. It's just not working for me. So what am I going to do? And then all of a sudden I said, well, let me play it kind of slow. And I started to do that and like arpeggiate. And then it started to sound like Johnny Cash. And it started to sound like Johnny Cash's version of Hurt. And I, and for me, I love that. And so, and I haven't really done anything like it. And so, suddenly that's what the song has become it would is probably going to be the final track because i got a lot of poppy stuff it's interesting the way i songwrite usually i have a lot of these types of songs and i like gosh i wish i had something poppy so people aren't totally depressed <laughs> or down or in that place you know uh but uh now i have a lot of poppy stuff i think with nice drum beats and this time it needed something to kind of bring us down so i'll close it out this isn't my last song here but i wanted to Share it with you and see what you guys think of it. And uh, hopefully I remember how to play it. So here we go. The world won't stop if I don't get my way. But I often don't think this is true. The world that I know's just a glimpse of what God has prepared for me and for you. There's no place I can go and no thing I can do. There's no effort to prove my own worth. I don't find myself, I've been found by the one who created heavens and the earth. God is great. God is glorious. He's the light on my path. He's victorious. God is good. God is gracious. He fulfills all my needs. He's victorious. When I know that I'm safe and remember I'm loved by the God who created all things. I will fear no man freely sharing God's love and the joy that life with God brings. So despite my failings, I'm a child of God, though my sin may rip me apart behind every sin is a lie about god he just wants me to give him my heart god is great god is glorious he's the light on my path he's victorious god is good God is gracious, He fulfills all my needs, He's victorious, and God is great. God is great, God is glorious, He's the light on my path, He's victorious. God is good, God is good, God is gracious, God is gracious, He fulfills all my needs, He fulfills all my needs, He's victorious. Fulfills all my needs, he's victorious. He fulfills all my needs, he's victorious. Whew, that came out okay. Rob, that that was really good. But you see, it's it, it's a play because I when I wrote it, he's victorious. He's victorious. I was like, yeah. 
that's like sort of an anthem thing. But then I liked the play on it because, and I loved the imagination, imagining Johnny Cash at the time. I felt maybe that's a Holy Spirit thing because then I watched the video, and that is a sad video, man. When you know the circumstances of it. Because he's old, he barely looks like he's alive. You know when a fish is in a fish market and the eyes just look a certain way and you go, and it's still alive and you're like, eh, not long for the world. He didn't look long for the world and his wife, his wife was still alive. I think she died like a month after that video was made and he died about seven months. And, and so he's singing the song Hurt and he's legitimately hurting, you know. And so when I heard that, I thought, well, this is like a song... It's the start of it is the world won't stop if, if I don't get my way, even though I think it should, right? I think the world should just stop and, and help me. It's all about me. And so I, it, it ended up becoming kind of perfect. Like it's in a, in a moment where maybe things aren't going the way I want them to go. But I am like Habakkuk who said that the righteous shall live by faith. And in that faith, I'll rejoice. And then it kind of works. So while I'm talking about victory and being joyful in that it i kind of think it kind of worked with that sad backdrop hopefully i don't know yet well it it was and, and it's interesting that there are so many emotions at the cross yes there's victory yes there's there's freedom there's chains breaking there's there's people getting healed and there's a god a man who is taking it all on himself. Mm -hmm. And at one moment you're like, yes. And the other moment you're like, whoa. So yeah, I, I get that completely. Sure. Rob, would you like to share one more song with us? Yes, this one is, hasn't been released yet either, but this is coming out one week from today. So. Look out for it. I also want to say that I'm hoping I put, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can find links to it at robbery.com. For one, I do a, a Bible in a year. I started, it's the longest New Year's resolution I've ever done. I do a Bible reading every day. I try and do it between 8.20 and 9 a.m. I do an after commentary. Sometimes it's a preamble and I'd love for you to join me there. I do that. But um, a part of what I'm doing there, I put on my YouTube channel, you'll find there's a video when you get to the channel page and you'll see that I'm announcing you could be in a music video. If you learn this song, you can actually download the studio version of this song from there for free as an MP3 if you want to do it right after I play it. It's called Church. And there's also a lyric thing. And if you want to do a TikTok video or something where you were lip syncing the, uh, the chorus or even the whole song, I want to do a music video of a bunch of people even I don't know who are in different areas and different cities, it'd be really awesome. So if you feel led by God to maybe do something about that, like that, it'd be great because this song called Church is about the church. It's about the church not being the building. It's about the church being the people where two or three are gathered. He is with us where one is gathered. He can hear us. But, uh, and, and the great thing about this song, this was written in January of two of 2020 this was written two months before the lockdown we didn't know why but there's a guy that i song write a young man uh who who went to my church and we we've written a couple songs together he said i got this good i have this decent music and and my and the pastor's son greg he had some words and i said awesome let's try it out that they needed some help so we came in and we fashioned this together we structured it we added i added lyrics and but the melody was by kevin linehart and it just took off and it became our anthem during the period of COVID when we were forced to be locked out and trying to figure out to verse our way. And I, we would play this at the beginning or at the end of every service to remind people that church is anywhere. Church doesn't, you don't need the building. You need people though. Church is the body of Christ and that's what the song is about. I've seen a 
million places built to withstand the test of time brilliant pieces people preaching Christian family shining bright and I thought I knew what it's like to worship you, but now I understand. Church is where you're here with me. Doesn't have to be built of wood, built of stone. As long as there are two or three We know you're here and we're not alone Christians gather in the shadows Have no building to call their home Still they worship, risk and danger, silent preaching within their homes. And I thought I knew what it's like to worship you, but now I understand church. Doesn't have to be built of wood, built of stone, no. As long as there are two or three, we know you're here and we're not alone. No, you're here with us. We're Amen. Next week, that comes out on Spotify and all your favorite little outlets or streaming outlets. Thank you, Kim. I see Kim, and thank you, Lisa. And we lost. We lost. He's he's out. He's just he couldn't control himself. He had to get a box of Kleenex, but he's back. Or did you get a taco? Or was it leftover Korean barbecue? <laughs> um. Yes to all that hi <laughs> yeah it was fun thank you for letting me play and i uh what happened was we had misspelled your uh website and i fixed it so it is now fixed all right so robreed.com is the easy way to get me r-o-b-r-e-e-d.com 
And if you, if you go like, gosh, I can't remember that dude that I saw on Red's Entertainment, the only guy that night. If you're old like me and you, TJ, because I know, I see a gray beard, sorry. A gray beard, you know, I know you're not 15. Uh, Brady Bunch, the actor who played the father. His name's Robert Reed. If you remember Rob Reed, same last name spelling, dot com, you'll find me. And if you're interested in me sending you an MP3 of that last song, full version, instead of my little version there, um, and lyrics, I'm happy to, and especially if you want to make a TikTok video, TJ, singing that chorus, that'd be awesome. <laughs> TikTok, exactly. Um, Unless you're afraid of the Chinese or something, but we won't get Bob, into that. you are ridiculously talented, and yeah. you are Rob ridiculously awesome. <laughs> Ridic awesome. Ridiculously. I, I don't know. That's that's tough. You got to be careful where you put the pauses there. Sorry. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yes, the family I, Christian I, show. I, I What's now wrong realize with that was probably my biggest broadcast mistake in history. Anyways, oh Rob, my goodness me! All right, you anyway, are, you are you are so blessed. Thank you for sharing. Thank and you. We look forward to seeing you once again. Ah, oh. and and just remember, everybody, church is not the first. You know, the first Prespa Luther uh, Baptitarian you know, whatever. It's not it's a good thing still. Let's not let's not disparage it, but let's not forget that it's the people. And it, you could be in a teepee. You could be in a Sukkot booth. You could be in your car. You know, you could just be lying down on a picnic table or in a picnic blanket. Why would you lie down on a picnic table? Don't do that. Who knows what's there? But your own picnic blanket with a guitar or something, sing with a bunch of people, with two or three there, and praise in Jesus, and that's all you need, TJ. Yes, sir. Rob, yeah, preaching the choir, you, literally. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bless you, too.